Welcome to episode 45 of G Hallows Beer Reviews. This evening I will be reviewing Schafferhofer Crystal Weizen. So the, the clear wheat beer. Um, if you've been following me for some time, you'd uh, recall my first uh, video was um, the uh, Heffenweizen, so the cloudy wheat beer from the same brewery. Uh, I've had this before and I obviously I've had the other one because I've reviewed it a number of times. This is not bad. I actually prefer the other one just from what I remember. Um, I like, as you've probably seen in my reviews, I like yeast and sediment in the beer. I find it gives a lot of flavor. This one's been filtered so it doesn't have it. But it is a wheat beer in its own right So, and this brewery is very good so I think it will be okay. So it comes in at a 500 milliliter bottle at 5% alcohol by volume. So without further delay, let's crack this beauty open. Okay, a lot of smoke there. Okay, the uh, traditional wheat beer glass. So I better take it easy because these things foam up so quickly. So just bear with me. Once it, as again, once it hits that neck, very carbonated. See, I'm not even touching the body of the beer there and it's already got that magnificent head if I just pour that straight down the middle you'd have about an inch of beer and uh, a glass of head <laughs> I'm not going to be too concerned about getting the whole beer in the glass this time because it is a filtered uh, wheat beer so we won't have to get that for flavor purposes, but as you can see, it is very, very carbonated. Let's hold that still there so you can see. Very carbonated beer. It is clear. As for the color, it's a light golden color, a light straw color. Uh, magnificent head. Uh, this glass, of course, um, accelerates that and facilitates the, the head, but um, yeah, really good head on it. Uh, very carbonated, looks very inviting. I'll just top it up a little bit more. As for the head, it's a, a very white head. Um, I'd imagine that's due to the filtration, um, but it is quite thick consistency. It's not um, it's not a very loose head. It looks quite thick. As for the smell, again with the original Schafferhofer Heffenweizen, I'm getting the similar smells, but it's not as pronounced. I'm getting banana, clove, yeah, banana and clove, maybe a bit of coriander. Even though I don't believe coriander is actually in these beers, but it's giving that sort of profile. Um, bit of cinnamon, yeah, very sweet sort of smell. If you could imagine banana mixed with a cinnamon donut you know the ones for us Aussies that you know donut king and that when they make them fresh it smells like that like a mixture of that and that's where you get the bready breadiness from the donut <laughs> anyway I'm raving on a bit there but yeah the it's got that sort of profile it um, smells great it smells really good I'll just top that up a bit alright so as you can see an enormous amount of head yeah, well, four fingers ahead, but this glass, you'd expect that. It looks really good. Um, again, carbonation is not dying down there. It's still going. So, most important part, taste test. Cheers. It's quite similar to its counterpart. The unfiltered, you're getting the typical wheat beer sort of taste of the bready malts, a very, very strong sweetness there, um, followed through with a bit of bitterness from the citrus. Um, yeah, but it isn't as pronounced as the, the unfiltered version, um, but the flavors are still there. But in saying that, it's not as thick as the unfiltered version naturally, you, as you would imagine, so it's a very light sort of body. It's quite dry in the mouthfeel, um, so it's very easy to drink. So on a hot day, if you're thirsty, this might better suit you, the, the crystal, than the um, the unfiltered one. Very carbonated. Sorry, I'm just struggling here to keep that down, but 
Yeah, very, very carbonated. I'll just give it another sip. Yeah, really good. Nice bready malts. It's um, really well balanced. The bitterness is, uh, as a wheat beer, we all know that um, the bitterness isn't that strong generally in wheat beers, but um, it's a, it's there. Um, but a very strong citrus and a bready malt taste. Um, quite well balanced. Very extremely carbonated. Um, and maybe that might be a bit too much for some people, but yeah, it's extremely carbonated. Um, but it, very, very good brew. I actually, I'll just tell you straight up now, I prefer the, the Heaven Weizen, the unfiltered. Um, just, just me, and as you'd see in all my uh, videos, I love the yeast in the beer. A um, bit of sediment in the bottle. But in this case, for a filtered version, um, it is very, very good. I'm, I'm hardly enjoying it. Enjoying it. It's really good. All right. Now to the the question: How much would I give it? I give it an eight and a half out of ten. I think it's a really good wheat beer. If um, the standard wheat beers aren't your thing, you know, maybe the cloudiness, the overbearing flavor maybe this would be up your alley you know you could give this a go because um, it is very quite dry in the mouth uh, very easy to drink uh, if you're thirsty it, this would really hit the spot um, so eight and a half for Schofferhofer Crystal Weizen thanks for watching another G Hello beer review and I'll see you in the next one cheers